in a couple minutes, the first candidates are going to get baptized. And uh, we're going to sing one more song. But just before we do that, you know, the reason that we're here tonight is, of course, to make a public declaration. Each one that is going to go into these waters is going to make a public declaration that Jesus is their Lord and Savior. That's what baptism is. And it's just a simply this moment that we recognize what God has done in our life. And I love the moment when Jesus is baptized in Scripture. And really, that's the example that we're following. It says that the Father from heaven spoke these words. He says, this is my son whom I love and I am well pleased. I love those statements that God the Father made over the Son. And I think every time that we baptize people, I believe that the Father in heaven is saying the exact same things over us. So each person, as they go into these waters and they say, I'm a follower of Jesus, they tell their story, and they've made this decision to follow Jesus. And when they walk through these waters and they go down and they come up, it's like symbolic of being buried to your old life and being raised to new life. That the father's saying, this is my son, this is my daughter, whom I love, and I am well pleased. So God, we just thank you. We thank you. We pray that every person that enters these waters tonight will experience that. And God, I pray for each one of us that are here tonight, too, that, Lord, that you would speak into our lives. God, that many among us, we would hear your voice tonight saying the same things. I've been here for you. I've been walking right beside you. You may not have realized. I've been coming to meet you where you are. And so, Lord, we just pray tonight, speak into every heart, speak into every life, we pray. Pray this in Jesus' name. Bless you as you are seated. Here comes Pastor Maddie. everyone. Well, we are so excited to be baptizing um, some of our church family tonight and uh, especially some of our PC kids. We're going to have two of them come now and uh, just share with us why they want to get baptized. Gabriela, you want to come on in? It's pretty warm, so don't worry. All right. So, Gabriella, can you tell us why do you want to get baptized today? Because I'm, I want to get baptized because I want to follow you want to follow what God tells us to do, right? Amen? Very good. All right, Gabriella. I'm going to turn you around this way. So, Gabriella, upon your confession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Tice, come next. And Tice, I'm going to ask you the same question. Why do you want to get baptized today? Because I feel like God wants me to get baptized. Very good. God asked us to do it, and so we want to do it. All right, Tice, you're going to turn this way as well. You put your hand over your nose, and we're going to baptize you. So, Tice, upon your confession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right, Pastor Ryan is going to come now and he's going to baptize some of our youth. All right. He just he wanted round 2. He wanted round 2. <laughs> All right. Verity, is there anything you want to say today? Um, I don't know. You don't know? You want to be baptized today? Yeah. Awesome. You love Jesus? Yes. Awesome. Well, let's do this. I right, verity upon the confession of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right, next.
Next up, we have Adeline. Adeline, you excited to get baptized today? Yes. You love Jesus with all your heart? Mm-hmm. Let's get baptized then. <laughs> Adeline, upon the confession of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Next up, we have Melody. Melody, are you excited to get baptized today? Oh, you can turn this way. You can turn. Just look at. There's only hundreds of people here to watch you. It's no big deal at all. <laughs> awesome, Melody. Why do you want to get baptized today? Because I believe Jesus from my heart, and I believe that He died on the cross for me. Let it go, girl. All right, let's do this. Melody, upon the confession of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Mr. Kyler, the one and only Kyler. We love this guy. <laughs> you, put, you got some fans here today. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Kyler, you love Jesus? Yeah. You want to get baptized today? You want to follow him all the rest of your days? Well, then let's do this. Plug that nose. Kyler, upon the confession of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Rose, as you can tell, they're not nervous at all. You excited to get baptized today? I know, we, we've tried to line this up a few times, so I'm glad we finally get to baptize you today. Rose, you love Jesus? Mm -hmm. You want to follow him forever? Yeah. Well, then let's get you baptized. Rose, upon the confession of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This girl was literally doing jumping jacks back there because she had so much excitement. <laughs> Catherine, you excited to get baptized today? Yes. Why do you want to get baptized? Um, because I want to follow Jesus. Want to follow Jesus, right? Awesome. It's plain and simple, wants to follow Jesus. All right, Catherine, upon the confession of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Tavia, why do you want to be baptized today? Well, I've always thought that to be baptized, you needed to be perfect and make no mistakes. Mm -hmm. But as soon as I got older, I realized that God is the only person who doesn't make mistakes and who's perfect. That's good. And that just pushed me to push me to get baptized. And I know that he's the only person who can save me. That's good. Awesome. Love it. Savio, upon the confession of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Ariana, why do you want to be baptized today? Because God commands us to. Because God commands us to. I love it. I just want to say, Ariana, you are someone who, this girl loves her Bible. We like do Bible reading challenge every week with our students. And every week, her and your siblings especially. Like your parents have raised you to love the word of God. And it shows so evidently in li your life. And I'm just super proud of you. I love being your pastor. <laughs> Ariana, upon the confession of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mr. Noah. <laughs> Noah, why do you want to be baptized today? Because God told me to. Because God told you to. When, like, I'm not a lot of people here know your story, but this is like a new friendship. You only came here literally weeks ago. <laughs> why, 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 what made you give your life to Jesus? I'm not sure. You're not sure. You just, you knew just that you feeling. needed to. Yeah, feeling in the moment. Seriously, it's going to get me teared up. But this is someone who walked in these doors with his family. A family that I got to know literally over Christmas Eve when you guys walked in. 
And in the short weeks that I've known you, I've seen such a transformation over your life. Literally, even from seeing your Instagram page two months ago to now, this guy posts more about Jesus than anyone else that I know. And you, like, you are so on fire for God. And no, I just, I want to just encourage you, keep pressing into that, man. Keep drawing close to Jesus, and he's going to meet you exactly where you need him to be. Let's get you baptized, buddy. Noah, upon the confession of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yuba, I've got the pleasure of knowing you for many years now. You love Jesus? Yes, of course. Why do you want to get baptized today? I want to be baptized because I've, accept, I've accepted Jesus as my Savior and the leader that I'm going to follow for the rest of my life. I've always felt like a lost sheep, oftentimes just drifting away from God, and I feel like I'm finally like decided to stay. And yeah. Love it. So good. So good. <laughs> All right, Yuba, upon the confession of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now is when I'm really going to get emotional. <laughs> you notice probably, on this, I don't know if I'm saying the names, this guy's got the same last name as me. My amazing cousin that uh, I've had the privilege of getting to hang out and make many memories over the years. One of my greatest leaders I've ever had in my ministry. And Brennan, God has such a calling over your life, but he wants to use you in incredible ways. You have an incredible gifting of leadership over your life. And even though I know you don't feel like you have confidence sometimes, God wants to use you to change the world. And I'm so proud of you today because I know this has been a big step <laughs> to finally get in this tank. I've been tracking you down for many years now. I got him in here finally. <laughs> but you made that choice on your own. And when you came to me and said that, I was so pumped for you. You ready to get baptized? Yeah. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Brandon, upon the confession of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The next two young ladies also have had the chance to know since they were just little girls, and um, yeah, what a gift in our church to watch our young people grow up and not just take on the faith of their parents, but make it their own and decide to be baptized. And it is such a blessing to me. And we just pray. So as we have prayed over you before, we pray again all the days, women of God, all the days of your life. Right. All right. Susan, do you love Jesus? Yes, I do. Do you want to be baptized today? Yes. All right. Then Susan, upon the confession of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right, Stella, same goes for you. Just to watch you grow into a young woman, we also just pray that you pursue him forever. You are a leader of people in your life, that you lead women, you lead men, you lead family, and wherever you go, wherever you touch, the light of Jesus shines brightly upon you and through your life and all that you do. All right, Stella, why do you want to be baptized today? Um, I've chosen to be baptized today because I want to be born again through Christ as I have accepted him as my Lord and Savior, and I'm glad that I have the opportunity to, to publicly declare this to everyone. Amen. <laughs> Amen. All right. Stella, upon the confession of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. church a while back and came back today and just you know it felt like the Lord speaking to her this morning was like I want to get baptized I have decided I want to make my life about Jesus again and so Sheree do you love Jesus yes do you want to be baptized tonight yes in oh. the name of Jesus amen all right well in the name of Jesus then Sheree I now baptize you in the name
name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. He's changing lives. He's been changing lives then, and he's changing lives today, and it's evident in the stories that we're hearing, and it's incredible. It's, I, man, like over the years, the 18 years that I've been here, I don't know how many people we baptized in this tank, but I was baptized in this tank at 18 years old, praise God. I had the opportunity to baptize many people, but the one that's more memorable for me is my dad. I got to baptize my dad in this tank too many years ago. So this is amazing. It just keeps going, Pastor Tony. It's, it's not gonna stop, it's not gonna stop. All right, Boop, come on. We got Boop Kong coming first, come on. This is crazy, I was, I was Kong, or Cox, Boop's youth pastor 10 years ago. It's amazing, and you're back. Yeah. So why do you want to be baptized? Um, I just mm. want to declare that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, and I was running for a little while, mm. but now I'm back full circle. Amazing. Um, yeah, I just woke up one day in like November and felt the Holy Spirit. I didn't know it was the Holy Spirit mm. then. I just felt in my heart, I was like, there's something, there's something, there's something, and I've been chasing ever since, and now I'm here. So, Amazing. praise God. Praise God. <laughs> you love Jesus. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do this. Have you have this? So, Luke, upon the confession of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, it's my honor and privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Justin, we got Justin next. Come on, Justin. I like your shorts, man. They look good. So, Justin, why do you want to be baptized, bro? Uh, it's a long story. Uh, uh, um... I guess it's a feeling, but I just want to thank my family, my mom and my dad and all my brothers and sisters, and my Nana for always praying over my family and never giving up, mm -hmm. and always following Jesus. And you love Jesus? Yes. Yeah. Amazing. Let's get baptized, bro. Look at those. All right. Justin, upon the confession of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, it's my honor and privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Next we have Shelly, Justin's mom. God's moving in their family, man. Come on. Let's do it. So Shelly, why do you want to be baptized today? Because I feel it in my heart. Feel it in your heart? Yeah. And hopefully it can go through my whole family. Get my whole family following the Lord. That's what I'm hoping for too. Yeah. It's going to happen in Jesus' name. It's gonna happen in Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. 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 We love Jesus. Yes, I love Jesus. All right. Let's do it. Let's plug your nose. All right, Shelly, upon the confession of your faith in the Lord Jesus, it's my honor and privilege to baptize you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yeah. What's up? You doing good? Yeah. Did you just say your hair? Oh, you say, oh, no, don't be scared. I was going to say, don't worry about your hair. It's going to get wet. But. <laughs> oh, Arita, you came in in the wrong order. Y'all messing me up. <laughs> so you are. Me. No, I know, but you're, 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 you're the enough. aunt, and that's your niece. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, man. All right, all right, cool. So why do you want to be baptized today? Um, I want to be a good example to my daughter. I want to be the best version of myself, and I think that's the one who's obedient to Christ. Yeah. And you love Jesus? Yeah. Fantastic. All right. Come on in a little closer. Yeah. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I won't hold you in long. I promise. All right. Lord, we thank you so much for her life. And Lord, it's, it's my honor and privilege to now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Come on. No, you're good. Brianna. Okay. This is, this is Brianna. That, that was your aunt, right? Yeah, You're not the aunt. All right. No, the aunt. My bad, everybody. I apologize. All right, so why do you want to be baptized? Um, because of the changes that Jesus did in my life. You know, I was dealing often a lot with anxiety and depression, mm. and I tried to pave my own way. I tried to follow my own plan, but then when I realized that 
Jesus had a plan for me and I just let go and let God. Things change so drastically and I'm so blessed today to get baptized with my aunt. I'm getting emotional, sorry. sorry. I'm so blessed today to get baptized with my aunt because she was a non-believer and now she believes in God by the grace of God. So. Praise God. Amen. Amen. No, that's good. That's good. All right, Brianna. All right, Brianna, upon confession of your faith in the Lord Jesus, it's my honor and privilege to now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Ghost. Jacqueline, come on. How are you? Fantastic. You love Jesus? You love Jesus. And you want to be baptized today? Thank you. And I'm sure there's many reasons why. There is. All right. Are you excited? Yes. All right, I'm excited Thank for you. you. All right, let's plug that nose and hold that hand. Jacqueline, upon the confession of your faith in the Lord Jesus, it's my honor and privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Congratulations. This is one of those, it's about time situations. We got Kai on the phone, come on. You love Jesus? Yes, I do. Yeah, you do. I'm yes. excited. Are you sure you don't want to say anything? You're good, all right. Sorry. You can if you want. You don't have to. No? All right, I'm so proud of you. You're amazing. I'm glad you're doing this. It's been a long time coming, and it's happening. Praise God. I've seen the move of God in your life. You've always been wise beyond your years, and God's going to use that in incredible ways. All right? Believe that, know that, all right? Enough talking. Go ahead, plug your nose. Lord Jesus, we thank you for Kaya's life. And Kaya, upon the confession of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, it's my honor and my privilege to finally <laughs> baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Why do you want to be baptized today, Sharon? I want to baptize because I learned that uh, Jesus is the only way. He is the only way. And uh, I lost my job from September, and um, the Lord, He has just provided for me. Mm. And I didn't call family members, I didn't call, um, mm -hmm. I just trying to depend on Him. Mm -hmm. And I find myself reading the Word, mm -hmm. worshiping, fasting, mm -hmm. and praying. So I know I want to baptize. Yeah. Amen. You love Jesus? With all my heart. Come on. He changed your life? He did. Come on. He's going to continue to change it too. It's going to get better from here on out. Yes. Praise God. All right. Come here, Sharon. Come on. Okay. That's it. Sharon, upon the confession of your faith in the Lord Jesus, it's my honor and privilege to now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Natalie, good to see you. Natalie's one of our new volunteers at Cumberland. By the way, we got lots of volunteering opportunities if you want to come down to Cumberland. I'm not trying to poach or anything, but you know, we're trying to grow too, so come on. It's been so good to have you down at Cumberland. Thank you. You love I'm Jesus? Happy. I sure do. Yeah? Yes. You excited? I am. I'm Very. excited too. Yeah. I've been seeing the move of God in your family too recently, and that's awesome. Thank you. All right, plug your nose. We're okay. going to get her done. All right, come okay. a little bit closer. Okay. Right here. Don't forget to bend your knees, all right? No, no. All right, right here we go. Okay. Lord, we thank you for Natalie. And Natalie, upon the confession of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, it's my honor and privilege to now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Ryan! You good, man? I'm good. Congratulations. Thanks. You want to tell us why you want to be baptized today? I was lost until I found Jesus. Come on. You were lost, now you're found. Changed your life? It did. Changed my life too, man. It's amazing. It is. No turning back. No. No turning back. All right, let's get it done, man. God, I thank you so much for Ryan. And Ryan, upon the confession of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, it's my honor and privilege to now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Congratulations, buddy. Pastor Phil makes me want to get baptized again. Hey, hold up. He's like, hey, really? anybody else want to get baptized while I'm in here? For real? Georgia is coming. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> oh, come on. The Lord is good. Amen. 
Come on, the Lord is good. Oh, he's good. He's good. Oh, come on, why don't you stand up? We're going to sing gratitude. This is an anthem of thankfulness towards the Lord and for all that he's doing. Come on, agree with me. We just thank you, God, for all that you're doing. God, we thank you for every life that stepped into these waters tonight. God, we pray that you will prosper them, Lord, that they will continue to grow in their knowledge and their understanding of you. God, we pray that you fill them with your spirit. God, that you continually lead and guide them and you direct them in the steps ahead. God, we pray that you protect them and you cover them and shelter them underneath your wings. And so God, we pray these things. We speak these things over each one of them and we pray that over us tonight as the church. God, we thank you. We thank you, God, for your goodness and for your mercy. God, we thank you for your sacrifice. And God, because of what you did on the cross, today we have salvation and we're free. And so God, we take hold of that gift tonight. And I want to tell you, if you're here tonight and you've not received the Lord, even right now, this is a moment to say, God, I take hold of your free gift, your free gift of forgiveness. I turn from my old life and I turn to you. Oh, we turn to you, Jesus. We turn to you and we say, thank you, God, for all that you've done. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for life today. Thank you, God, for forgiveness. Thank you, God, for mercy and grace. Thank you, God. Oh, say that with me, church. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. 